Great news! Capricorn, America's favorite alien exchange student, is starring in some other new fun educational films. Stop, think, listen, Capstone Entertainment and Safe Kids have created a whole series of Capricorn's adventures. In future movies, Corny will learn from Earth friends like you about all kinds of great things like honesty and self-esteem. Don't miss Corny's future movies, and remember, safe kids are no accident. Stop, think, listen to your heart. Don't be scared, hey, get street smart. Strangers posed as smiling friends cause you danger in their into orbit, son? Duh, Dad! Duh? Does not compute. Does not compute. Want an energy pack, Capricorn? Oh, no thanks, Mama. I'll just have one of these. Oh, that's a good boy, Capricorn. Goldfish make your skin nice and scaly. Remember now, don't talk to strangers. Yeah, yeah, Mom. I compute. Want some candy, kid? Oh, no thanks. It rots my ears. Take a flying leap, Buster. Put out your radar, Corny. Avoid unidentified beings. Your mom told us to take care of you. Good thing it's safety week at school. Ah, uh, who needs it? A smile goes a mile, you know. Hi. Hey, where are you going? On your way to school? See? He likes me. Hello. Interesting boy. Uh, where do you come from? That yellow house over there. Nice. You never give out personal information to a stranger. Do you know that guy? No, but he has a friendly smile. Yeah, and now he knows your address, too. He's a stranger, Corny. Do you have any clue about strangers? Yeah. Green, mean, and hairy with a big red eye right here. Yeah. 
That's the boogeyman, Corny. On Earth, strangers can seem very nice and very friendly. Most are, but a few aren't. A friend would never do anything to hurt you, but a stranger you're not too sure about. A stranger could be a clown, or even a delivery person who might try to hurt you or take you away. Being too friendly can get you in big trouble. Me? Well, if a stranger bothered me, I'd... I'd poke him in the eye. I'd zap him in the nose. I'm hey, real. You can't drop kick a 200-pound man. Look, I've got insurance. My fail-safe device. It just zaps me away. Awesome. Then I guess we don't have to worry about you anymore. Well, the only problem is, is that I'm never exactly quite sure where I'm going to end up. And as I was saying, the world is a beautiful place when you're street smart. And if you were listening, you would know the three rules that can save your life. Capricorn, safety rule number one is... Correct! The buddy system. Always stay with a buddy, even when you visit the public bathroom. Well, I got my buddy. And safety rule number two is... Right. Keep away from strangers. And rule number three... <clears throat> yes, follow your gut feeling. Yes, Capricorn. Um, I don't think I have any guts. Anyway, what's a gut feeling? It's like radar, Corny. It's just in your heart. It's a funny feeling, like something isn't right. Or you can't trust someone. It's like something inside of you is saying, no way, Jose. I get it. It's like, Nanu, no, no. Right, Corny. So remember, kids, this is safety week, so practice being street smart. Stop, stop, stop think, 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 and listen, listen to, to your heart. heart. And listen to your heart. <laughs> Someday you'll find out that the best defense is your own defense. Shh, Capricorn. Remember, kids, trust your heart. It will always tell you when something is wrong. Corny, you coming? Remember the buddy system? I'll catch up with you later. You're not the boss of me. Just trying to take care of my buddy. Rough day. Oh, it's just my alien exchange student. It's like he's on another planet. Well, he is. Wherever you walk, take the safest direct route. Stay out of alleys, vacant lots, parking lots, and construction sites. Great! A shortcut!
is it? I'm surfing! Woo! <laughs> hey, this is the Bud and Judd Show. I'm Bud. That's Sir. Judd. Hey, Bud, say something. Hey, rise and shine, folks. Don't forget that sunblock today, because it's going to be a hot one on K Crud. That's right. K Crud, the big crud. Hey, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be cloudy. Sunny? Ready to blast into orbit, son? Want an energy pack, Capricorn? Oh, that's a good boy, Capricorn. Goldfish make your skin nice and scaly. Remember now, don't talk to strangers. in big trouble. Didn't you say that yesterday? Where you at, Corny? You're so spacey today. What day is it? Monday. Monday? I thought that was yesterday. How many Mondays are there? One, duh. I'm stuck in a time warp. I'm living the same day over and over. Be aware of what's happening around you. How many of you like to fish? I like fish. Capricorn, would you please sit in your desk? Strangers like to fish for children and aliens. They have their favorite fishing spots. Isolated church and school grounds, parking lots, Empty lots, dark places like alleys and lonely streets, parks at night, construction zones. Who do you think kidnappers look for? When convicts were asked, what do you think they said? Space cadets? Right. Children who don't pay attention. Who appear out of control. Tuned out. Fearful. Preoccupied. Kids who are starved for affection, who have few friends, loners. Now, class. You know that stuff about not calling attention to ourselves? Yeah, like not wearing our names on our stuff? Check that out. Corny, you're walking latchkey advertisement. Put your key inside your shirt. That big key says you go home to an empty house. Hey, Corny. How you doing, bud? Hey. <laughs> See you around, bud. See, now he knows your name. Yeah, he must be my friend. Some friend. Do you know his name? He's pretending to be your friend to trick you. Don't ah. trust him. Ah. I'm too big to be tricked. Kidnappers use tricks that sound so good and so real, they could fool anybody. Hey! Where'd everybody go? Never get in a car unless the driver knows your secret family code word. Capricorn, your mother's been hurt in an accident. She sent me to come get you. Get in the car. Oh, no. My mom? I better help her.
it into the beach. Bingo, boys. And I'm surfing. Woo! <laughs> hey, this is the Bud and Judd Show. I'm Bud. That's Judd. Hey, Bud, say something. Hey, rise and shine, folks. And don't forget that sunblock today because it's going to be a hot one on K-Crud. That's right. K-Crud, the big crud. Hey, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be cloudy. Sunny? Cloudy. Sunny and cloudy. Hey, you're listening to K-R-U-D. That's right. <laughs> K-Crud. So how are you doing today? Well, we got a pile of crud to play. <laughs> <laughs> Help me trick. Help, Help me, me trick. Bribe trick. Bribe trick. Bribe trick. Make you famous trick. Make you famous trick. trick. Emergency trick. Emergency trick. Fun and games trick. Fun and games trick. Love and affection trick. Love and affection trick. You better or else trick. Better or else trick. Official uniform trick. Official uniform trick. Hero trick. Hero trick. Playmate trick. Playmate trick. Job trick. Job trick. Okay, what kidnapper trick is this? Hi, you want to come and play with me? Then a games trick. Gotcha. In you go to the dungeon with my first victim. <laughs> you really wanted that dollar I offered you, didn't you, Corny? What trick is that? Bribery? Right. <laughs> okay, what's this trick? Hello, would you like to be on television? We're interviewing kids who say no to drugs. You would look great on the news. Oh, Ooh, I'd do it. Oh. Make you famous trick. Right. What if I wore an official policewoman's uniform and said, come with me? Official uniform trick. Yes, what would you do? Well, that's a toughie. Anyone can buy a badge or a uniform. Ask a trusted adult if the official is for real. I know one. What if a strange lady asked you to put some packages in her car? Help me trick. Right. What should you always remember about the help me trick? Adults you don't know should ask other adults for help, not kids. There are so many ways to kidnap kids. Yeah, I know all about it. Sure you do. Corny! Corny's not getting it. He fought for any of those kidnap tricks. Where'd Corny go? He's always disappearing. Doesn't he know we should always let our parents know where we are? My mom's supposed to pick us up here at three. Let's see. Was I supposed to walk with traffic, away from traffic, in traffic? Always walk against traffic. If someone in a car stops and tries to talk to you, be friendly, but take two giant steps back and be prepared to run in the opposite direction. Hey, kids, can you help me out? I gotta push my car over to the gas station. I'll let you steer. He'll let me steer? Okay. I get to drive the car. I get to steer away. <laughs> <laughs> He's turning down the road. He's going fast. He's trying. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, shut up. What are you doing? Dog. 
then by a lady who said my mom was sick, and then yesterday by a guy who let me steer his car. Sure, who let a kid drive? Swear to Zarkon. Whoa. You really are being straight with us. Well, what did you think? So how'd you get away? <laughs> with my fail-safe device. It zapped me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget it. You're lucky you got that device, Corny, or you'd be a goner. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what am I worried about? <laughs> I can zap out of any stranger danger situation any time I want. We're not that lucky, and you shouldn't depend on that either. You have to watch out for yourself. See? Come on, guys. You too, Spacey. Listen to your heart. Don't be scared. Hey, guys. Show your toes and smiling friends. Cause you danger. Pretty good, Cordy. should you go to for help? Parents! Right. Teachers! Yes! Security guards! That's good. Police! Good! Store clerks! Right! Neighbors! Yes! Church people! Yes! Very good! Okay, you've got it! Remember, grandmothers or mothers with small children are usually safe bets, too. But what do you do if someone really scares you? You all have permission to be rude and loud. Make a scene! Yeah! Your voice is your best weapon, so let's hear it! Yeah! My best weapon is my zapper! Where is your zapper? My zapper! My zapper! Oh no! Where's my zapper? Where's my zapper? Oh no! What am I gonna do? I can't get home! Someone's gonna get me! I'm gonna die! Stop! Are you alright, Capricorn? <laughs> well, you know... I'm feeling pretty sick right now. Oh, I can't get home. I knew, no, no, I lost my zapper. 
<laughs> Gotta get home. Gotta get hey, home. Hey, Corny, where are you going? No, 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 no. Hey, talk to me for a while. Maybe, uh, maybe we can get some ice cream. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, here, uh, maybe this gum will make you feel better. Thanks. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll see you later, Corny. Gotta get home. No, 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 no. Gotta get home. Close my zapper. <laughs> Now, let's see. What were those important home safety tips? Lock the door. I did that. Call Mom and Dad. Hello, Mom. It's Corny. I'm home.
Christmas cake crud. Howdy neighbors, rise and shine, it's a brand new day. Forget that sunblock, because it's going to be a cool one out there. That's right, no clouds today, but it's going to be cool. That's right. Ready to blast into orbit? Fired up! Huh? <laughs> Want an energy pad, Capricorn? Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Well, thanks, honey. Now remember. I compute, Mom. I compute. Capricorn, you okay? Out of sight! <laughs> Talk to strangers. Daddy. Oops. Sorry. Greetings, Earthlings. Let's go, gangs. We can't be late for Mrs. Jones' theories on Earth safety. Kelly, shoulders back. That's a street smart attitude. Look around, be alert, focus, and trust that gut feeling. Little girl, are you lost? What's your name? Where do you live? Corny. My name is Aaron Tate. My phone number is 237-4543. And my parents' names are Karen and David Tate. Remember, I'm your neighbor. Otherwise, I'll walk right back in my house and ignore you, which I should have done in the first place. Duh. Did you hear that, little girl? My stars, it must be Earth Safety Week in preschool, too. I know everything about safety. What if a grown-up asked you for help? What should you do? Tell him to ask another grown-up. What if a repairman says there's a dangerous gas leak in your apartment building? What should you do? You tell him to leave and you call your mom and dad. What if a stranger offers you money? What should you do? Ask your parents first. What if a stranger makes you feel uncomfortable in any way? What should you do? You tell your parents and the police, and you memorize their car, their license plate, their hair, skin, and eye color, glasses, beard, voice, their clothes, any scars, even tattoos, and write it down fast so you don't forget. I didn't know you were such an expert on safety, Corny. If you only knew. Listen up. Trust me. With strangers, there are no do-overs. You gotta get it right the first time. We've got to be street smart. No matter what happens tomorrow or the rest of my life, my mission is to make this world a safer place. What about you? Yeah! yeah! Listen to your heart, don't be scared, hey, get 
Great news! Capricorn, America's favorite alien exchange student, is starring in some other new fun educational films. Stop, think, listen, Capstone Entertainment and Safe Kids have created a whole series of Capricorn's adventures. In future movies, Corny will learn from Earth friends like you about all kinds of great things like honesty and self-esteem. Don't miss Corny's future movies, and remember, safe kids are no accident. Stop, think, listen to your heart.